Right now at five, a tragic twist in the case of an alleged sexual abuse by a former teacher at Nicolet High School. It is a case that could have hundreds of victims, but where does the investigation go from here? The former teacher, 81-year-old David Johnson, was found dead. His body discovered yesterday. It was found in the garage of a Wapaka retirement community where he lived, an apparent suicide. We have team coverage for you now. Ricky Mitchell talked to a former student who attended Nicolay while Johnson was teaching. We'll start with the I-team's Casey Geraldo and questions about how Nicolay moves forward with its investigation in light of Johnson's death. Casey. Stephen Carroll, the school released a statement to us today. They say they do intend to continue their investigation into these alleged sexual assaults earlier this week. They released their initial investigation and it the attorney found the victim's story credible. The attorney also found school board members, a school administrator and vice principals at the time likely knew about the alleged abuse. The report says a teacher even called police after a student told her Johnson had assaulted him. One school board member recalled to the investigator Johnson was warned he would lose his job if they heard he continued sexually assaulting students. In a statement, the school board president also said all of us in the Nicolay community are deeply saddened by the revelations and events of the past week. She continues to say we pledge to continue our efforts to reach out to them and find them help. We will also review and reinforce our efforts to protect current students and make sure everyone in the Nicolay family knows how to follow through on our commitment to protect the health and safety of our students. We did ask for a comment specifically on Johnson's death and specific information as to how this investigation will continue now that he is not here anymore. The district declined to answer saying that's all they're saying for right now. But we want to let you know we've gotten a lot of emails and calls from people who are concerned about this. We are asking for more information. We've submitted records requests trying to find out exactly who knew about this and to get more information about Johnson's time at the school including personnel records and if there were any disciplinary actions taken against him. Live in Glendale, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. Certainly a lot of people could have been in the loop on this over many years. Casey Geraldo, and we know you'll get to the bottom of it. Thanks.